this video, we are going to install cPanel on a Ubuntu server 20.04. Hi, my name is Salhali and welcome back to my channel. So we are going to install cPanel on our Ubuntu server 20.04. I'll show you the installation process in this video and then after that you will need a cPanel license. You can get the license for free and that's uh, for 15 days only and they say no credit card required. But for this video we are just going to install on Ubuntu server okay so for that i'm going to use a virtual machine okay let's create a new virtual machine and i'm going to use the typical one and installer file let's find by you want to 20 okay so it already detected 20.04 yes click next and the full name i'm going to give it Talhali and the user is going to be Talha. The password next, the name like next, it's asking for the hard drive. I'm going to choose 40, which is required, and split virtual disk into multiple files. And if you want to know what exactly this stuff work, I will put the, uh, a link in the i button. You can see how you can create a virtual machine and what are all those features. So it's going to be 40 GB and this memory and this CPU. Now everything looks good. Finish and start this machine. So I'm not skipping anything uh, in this video so you guys can see and understand everything. I feel like this video is going to be a little bit uh, lengthy because I'm going to show you everything all the installation process of uh, this Ubuntu server and then after that the cPanel installation installation process okay so it checked and there was no error found for the language it's asking so I'm gonna select the English the one with the US now let's say continue without updating done and then the next thing uh, I detected the IP address which is 10.0.0.138 which is good done and the proxy address I'm not going to use any the mirror address uh, that's going to be for the update that's fine and uh, it gives you two options uh, to use the entire disk or custom layout so for this one because it's testing so I'm gonna use uh, the entire disk but if you're doing this in production you can choose the layout according to your requirement done and now it's gonna show me all the uh, disk spaces where it's being used for root boot and stuff like that done and confirm continue and it's asking for my name and the server name is going to be cpanel and pick a username Dalha and password done and the open ss at yes i do want to install that and uh, done and continue and that is asking for the popular snaps if you want to install any but i don't want any so i'm just gonna hit done and uh, it will start creating the partition and the installation okay so our ubuntu installation process is completed let's log in using the username and the password and uh, let's see the ip address i think i need to install so sudo apt install net tools and the password for talha okay so after installing this package we would be able to see the ip address with if config i am uh, very much used to use this command so that's why I always install net tools so the IP address is 10.0.0.138 okay so the first thing uh, we're going to do is to change the user from uh, the username to the root uh, 
and uh, what you required for the cpanel a fresh installed ubuntu server 20.04 and the stable internet connection and the valid license for cpanel okay so after that i'm going to change the user the command is sudo su and uh, it's already changed normally it asks for the password okay so i'm going to set the password for root and that's the command you use passwd in the root and that that's the way you unlock the root user once you set up a password the root is unlocked okay so first i'm going to update the ubuntu server for that the command is apt update and then i will upgrade and uh, normally it takes like few seconds to update and then we will start the process of uh, cpanel installation okay so the next command is apt upgrade and uh, 17 MB so I think it should not take more than 10 to 20 seconds yeah it's completing really quickly and uh, now it's upgrading all the packages which are required you can see the progress is almost 15% completed okay after the upgrade we are going to update the fqdn so for that first we need to uh, replace the hosts file for that you need to type the command nano etc hosts and here you type the public ip address and the fqdn so in my case it's going to be uh, 10 dot zero dot zero dot 138 the ip address space it's going to be cpanel dot localhost but for you it's going to be fqdn fully qualified domain name control x y and hit enter and then we are going to update the host name as well for that the command is nano etc host name so here you can see it's showing cpanel if you want to update this uh, the host name you can update from here but in my case it's fine so next we are going to install two packages pearl and screen which are required to install the cpanel apt install pearl and screen space hyphen y to confirm the installation so these packages are installed and now we are going to change the directory to home where we are going to download the cpanel so to download the cpanel the command is curl space hyphen o latest space hyphen capital l https secure downloads dot cpanel dot net slash latest hit enter and then you see it's downloaded that was the download speed and uh, now we are going to install so for the installation process the command is sh latest and that's the file name so this process might take like couple minutes okay so the installation process took like 20 minutes and then you need to type the ip address colon and then uh, the port number is 2087 and then https in the start and there you go you can see the cpanel is installed and i can log in with the username 
uh, root and the root password okay so you can see the cpanel is installed now in this prompt we uh, install or apply the licenses what I get from the cpanel website so you can apply for your license if you want to test this uh, they give you a free license for 15 days thank you so much for watching the video I'll see you in the next video bye